Sasquatch. How oh. would you rank it? Yeah, I, I, I believe Bigfoot are out here. Yeah, I believe that Bigfoot could very possibly exist and probably does. And if not, I'm all wrong about my feelings, you know. But then the whole world's about our feelings now. And how do you think Sasquatch feels if you don't believe in him? Sasquatch, he gets God too. Yeah, just for notability. Like, I mean, even for just brevity. Okay, what about uh, Chupacabra? Oh, my favorite creatures ever. That's 100% fact. They've found them in the Chupa, I know. I like Chupa. I like, I like song. I like the Chupa, yeah. Yeah, big time. Do you like it Chupacabra. as much as Bigfoot? No, oh, more. More oh. the Chupacabra. You just suck the blood. Suck the blood. The goat, the goat sucker, right? That's right. How about lizard people? Um, yeah, there's several types. There's ones that have been around since the dinosaurs, and then there's ones that came from Draco, and then there's other ones, and some of them live in the earth. And uh, this is what I've been told. You know, and it's about as believable as like Christianity or Buddhism or anything else. You know, it's like, yeah, everything's energy. There's lots of beings, lots of souls. There's lots of dimensions. There's lots of portals. There's lots of everything. I just need things to sing about and I don't care. I don't even care. I don't even know if I believe or not. I just don't care anymore. I just want to get through this fucking place. <laughs> if you had to rate the uh, lizard people on the the tier scale, where would you put them? They're like, oof, they're pretty involved with us. I mean, if we were to put them in relation to us or believability, I'd put them on God level. But at the same time, I think there's lizards that really hate us. You know, I think I am a lizard, partly. And I think there's lizards that are like really sexy. I think, yeah, I definitely, yeah. But it's the creativity. It's the creativity. You gotta have creativity. That's how I know I'm not all reptilian. You know, all weird like that. How about? Are you buying my bullshit yet? <laughs> <laughs> what about Slender Man? I like what about, Slender Man. Yeah, I like the I like the mythology to it. That one's not true though. No one dresses up like a fucking tall clown on stilts in the forest and walks around. Unless they have something wrong with them, like me. That's probably what I get reincarnated as, so I'd have to walk around the forest on stilts and suffer every day for 120 years of a life. I'd just be the proper God's punching bag that I need. So what, where does Slender Man rank on the scale? Mm. Oh, BS part of it, but I mean, like if, if I could believe that it was true, I mean, that'd be amazing. Yeah, maybe like a C. Yeah. Oh, Dogman. Dogman. Number one. God, God, God status. Yeah, and uh, there's, yeah, there's so many different types. I've been trying to turn into one since I was a small child and I can't. So I'm a little bit jealous, a little bit, a little bit perplexed as to why I don't get to be that. Skinwalkers. That's a good one. Skinwalkers. Let's What's bring that? up. Um, skinwalkers are Indian medicine men turned evil or bad and they they start because of a lot of it was because white men the settlers came here right and they fucked over the Native Americans completely and uh, so a lot of the medicine men got into shape shifting and haunting and haunting the burial grounds of the Native Americans they hang around all these places that dogmen hang around, like Indian burial grounds. And there's a reason for that. There's a fucking curse on a bunch of that shit because white men shit on it so bad. So where does skinwalkers rank on the tier list? Oh, they're they're up there, like number three, four. Where oh. do you think the moon landing ranks on the tier list? The moon landing, um, I'm not sure what to believe about that because there is good evidence on both sides of the spectrum on that. You know what I mean? Because, I don't know, there is the Van Allen belt. You know what that is, right? That's radiation. In the 1960s, did we have a suit of armor that you can go in into a fucking spaceship made out of, like... I mean, it was probably like a VW Bug with afterburners that you don't get 265 degrees in your suit. 
because of the radiation and on the light side of the moon it, it just doesn't make sense but with the technology we have now i believe that it would make sense that we have been there this whole time but not in the context that they shot that a to f moon landing conspiracy hmm. i can see I'm, I'm on the fence about it. I, I'm on the fence. I'm like, it could have, and it might have been faked. Because if you watch some of the footage, it's kind of questionable. But no one goes back and, like, looks at the footage. But if you look at the footage, it's all, eh, eh, eh. But then again, did they have special effects like that back then? So, it, it, like, judging by the footage, you have to judge. I'm not a film expert, so I'd have to judge by what we were capable of film-wise. I mean, we're capable of the creature from the Black Lagoon, but we weren't capable of, like, outer space kind of shit. But then who's taking pictures of the moon landing? Who's taking those pictures in that even space that goes by with the cigarette burns and shit? That, that, my friend, I think is where Star Wars came from. How about, uh, how about JFK? Where does that rank on the, Ooh, on the conspiracy tier list? That's not a conspiracy. Well, it's a major conspiracy. It's true. Well, yeah, a conspiracy is not something that's not true. A conspiracy is th like multiple people doing something illegal in a plan together, like a bank robbery, like a fucking president dying in that certain way. That's a fucking real conspiracy, and it's fucking real. I don't know if it's true. I don't know if anything's true. We might be in a simulation. You never know. Where do you rank the JFK thing? Oh, Eight dude, that, that shit's completely in the top four. It's, it's like number four. God tier, you say? God tier, yes. That's a fact. I, I believe that's a fact. Simulation theory, which I think is very interesting. What do you think simulation theory? I know math very well, but not like that. So I really can't prove or disprove it. So I'm seeing some people are just think I'm one of those people who believe anything, you know. I only research it and believe what I want to believe sometimes, even if it's not true. I'll know it's not true. I just want to believe it so bad that I just do. But it's because I want to write a song. It's because I want to feel something. And um, simulation thing, I'd give it about a five. I'll give it about a C then. Yeah, yeah. What's a conspiracy that you think is just, or a cryptid or whatever, that you think just sucks? It's Dude, I, and I'm sorry. Some people have tried to prove this to me. Flat Earth is just ridiculous. I, you can't, I, I can't, I can fathom it in my mind in an airplane, you know what I mean? And I've studied it to like be all, are you sure that these people aren't onto something? I can't believe the flatter thing. And if it is, fuck my life. I'm sorry. And I'm not dissing on you. If you believe that, that's what you believe. You have that right. And if the science makes sense to you, cool. But if not, like, I can't believe that one. I don't buy into that one. What else? Vile vortices. Where does that go on the on the tier list? I would say a B plus. Actually, I believe that one very much. What's that? Oh, it's like Bermuda Triangle. There used to oh. be thirteen of them all over the world. It's um, places. Uh, I have a song on a record about it. Places that you like your compass and the the way the magnets work and like clocks don't work and mm -hmm. and people disappear and. Like, um, fuck, airplanes wreck, you know what I mean, or go missing. And uh, There's 13 of them, or there was, and then off the coast of Perth, Australia, apparently the U.S. shot off a nuclear weapon and neutralized the zone, so there's only 12 of them now. Oh. Yeah, interesting shit.